Welcome to Hockey Wiz Talks Podcast. Today I'll be talking about the top NHL rookies in the 2020-2021 season. This year's crop of rookies might be the best crop of rookies since 2003, so I will preview the top rookies in the NHL for this upcoming season. Alexi Lafreniere is without a doubt going to be one of the top rookies in the NHL next season. He might get off to a slow start due to the fact the Rangers are loaded with talented wingers, but once they find the right fit for him, he should take off running. Quinton Byfield will be a huge part of the LA Kings core for years to come, but what role he plays on the Kings next year remains to be seen. Similar to Lafreniere, it might take some time for Byfield to get adjusted to the NHL, but when he does, he should be very good. Tim Stutzel has a great chance of playing a top 6 role on the Ottawa Senators this upcoming season. His ability to play all 3 forward positions makes him very versatile, which the Senators will greatly benefit from. Kirill Kaprizov has a chance to play a top 6 role on the Minnesota Wild due to the lack of impact players on the wings in Minnesota. Expect Kaprizov to get a chance to play alongside Kevin Fiala, which would give him a chance to have a great rookie campaign. Trevor Zegris will likely play a major role on the Anaheim Ducks next season. He more than likely will be featured in the top 6 role because Anaheim doesn't really have many elite forwards. And now a word from our sponsor. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywiztalkshockey.blogspot.com. Also visit my Facebook page, MrHockeyWiz777, and my Instagram, MrHockeyWiz77. Bowen Byram is more than likely going to play a key role on the blue line of the Colorado Avalanche next season. He does have Sam Gerrard and Ryan Graves to compete with, but if all pans out, he should be on the top pair by the end of next season. Alexander Romanov could make an immediate impact on the defense for the Montreal Canadiens in his rookie year. He does have Ben Schrott, Joel Munson, and Victor Mite to compete with on the left side, but he has more potential than all three of them. Ty Smith is the top defensive prospect for the New Jersey Devils and could be featured in the top four role next year. With how weak the left side of the defense is for New Jersey, Ty Smith is more than likely to log heavy minutes next season. Igor Shosturkin came over from Russia in the middle of last season and played terrific. He will be eager to prove that he is a legitimate number one goalie in the league. Ilya Sorokin will tandem with Semyon Varlamov in goal for the New York Islanders. He might be a dark horse candidate for Rookie of the Year. And now a word from my sponsor. Check out my other podcasts on soundcloud.com backslash MrHockeyWiz777. Joe Valino has the chance to play a major role on the Detroit Red Wings next season. Due to how bad the depth is up front, Valino could be the second line center with Philip Zadina and Vladislav Nemesnikov on his wings. Dylan Cousins will have a massive opportunity next season with the Buffalo Sabres if he makes the team. He might start the season as the third line center, but if Eric Stahl and Taylor Hall get moved, he'll be used in a top six role. Grigory Denisenko has the opportunity to play a top six role on the team with Evgeny Dadanov and Mike Hoffman gone. Denisenko could find himself on the line with Anton Lundell and Patrick Hornquist. Nicholas Robertson is going to play a top 6 role on the Toronto Maple Leafs, especially with the traits of Andreas Janssen and Kasperi Kapanen. If Robertson plays on the line with either Matthews or Tavares, he could have a great rookie year. Some of the rookies featured here are players you can expect to be stars in the NHL for a long time. In my next podcast, I talk about why the Boston Bruins might miss the playoffs next season.